This is my kitchen. We built this entire place. We built out this. The building's 100 years old. Walk here every day? Yeah, a few times. How far up is it? Uh, six flights. Okay, maybe the idea to put it up on the roof. Well, that was the dead space. There's no really other option. It's not like there's a yard. Pretty cool, huh? We had a cold year this year, a late winter, but uh, most of the things you see right now are about eight weeks out. These are about two weeks away from harvest. Those ones are about one week away. Hydroponic just naturally made sense for this location. So what you see here is running water and it pumps through the center and drips down the sides of the tube and all the plants have their roots inside the tube. It's what we call a rain system. So it's recycling through its own reservoir. So basically we have liquid soil. The roots grow internally and we, we trickle the water down the sides. Uh, and it's all captured in the bottom and we recycle that. So it controls evaporation, it feeds the plants. Uh, we grow vertically, which gives us better space management. It's the same as growing in soil, but there's no soil, it's just water. Water holds the nutrients. Hydroponics is just like soil in the sense that no soil is self-sufficient. You have to supply it with nutrients. So what I have is here nutrients, which would be fertilizer. That click you hear is the dosing system. That's nutrients from the two containers going into New York tap water, which is fed by solar power. And then it's, it gets stored in a reservoir over here. Now the reservoir is elevated a couple feet above the floor of the garden, which naturally feeds every one of these towers, which all have a float in it, which keeps them at a certain level without using any energy at all. It doesn't take a whole lot other than the technology and the setup it's much harder to conventionally farm. The other benefit to it is that there's no way I'd have soil on this roof. We couldn't do it. The roof won't hold it. The hundred year old building would collapse. So formerly dead space is now being used to produce food for my restaurant right on location. So this is a bib lettuce. Oh, <laughs> it goes in the little netting there and the roots grow inside the tube. So the other benefit is keeping my lettuce totally living, roots attached. Uh, I pull it when I want it at its size, the size that I like, and um, I leave the roots attached until I use it. I call it dormant, not dead. Vegetables that have been bred for consumption and not storage or transport naturally are gonna taste better because it hasn't been gassed, it hasn't been treated with anything, it's totally organic. My tomatoes and herbs never see a refrigerator. I clip what I need when I need it. Down, right? Yeah, I have a hoist. It's right here. Today we just have a small bucket on here. We hang this over the side. And then it goes down. We fill that up, herbs and lettuces and whatever. Sometimes we need it. We have a bigger container, but a lot of times we only clip small amounts, so, so that helps to send things down. And it drops right to the back door of the kitchen. We have, here's an heirloom squash, bicolored. That one's a baby. And do you think you get more squash doing it this way? Or I, cl I clip loads. I clip so much. Last night I clipped maybe 60 flowers and about two dozen squash. And like, so say this one tomorrow is ready to pull. I mean, it'll double in size overnight. So this grows faster? Yeah. Well, how, how much faster? Does it grow? Well, f sometimes twice as fast. For lettuces, like bib lettuces, more than twice as fast than you would grow in the ground. I think it's because it pulls the nutrients quicker. There's no resistance and there's no flavor difference. Here's a fennel starter and there's a fennel ready to be pulled. You see the bulbs? See the water just tripped on? The timer just clicked. How often are they watered? Uh, three minutes every 12 minutes. The system it pays for itself. There's a little bit of an initial investment, but yeah, it definitely pays for itself. We're all going to be farming? I hope so. Really? Makes sense in the city. There's no land here. 
using dead space to grow vegetables, I think, is the way to go. We can't reclaim in that in this city. So do you think it's just cities? No, I think it makes sense everywhere. In the home, it makes sense as well. Growing vertically is more ergonomic, just like a city grows vertically. I think in the next 10 years, it'll be so common. I think for sure we are seeing the future.